Hi, this is PD at Bergzer Arcade at BergzerArcade.com, and this is tutorial 148. Now, this is kind of a special episode for the tutorials as, a, as an appreciation towards the people that have actually purchased the scripts. Uh, since we've got quite a few hours into the tutorial already, for the people that are just coming in, this is kind of a way for them to catch up quite quickly. Uh, we're going to go take an empty project, which I've created here in Unity, and I've imported the scripts, or at least what you get when you purchase the scripts. And I've also gone ahead and imported the new Fro Games Proto Pack 3D, and I'm going to create the game from scratch. So to start off with, I'm going to create three scenes. So I'm going to come up to New Scenes, and I'm going to save it. I'm going to make a new folder here, and I'm going to call it Scenes. And I'm going to save the first scene in there, and I'm going to call this Main Menu. Now you can call it whatever you want, as we're going to add some code to our game settings to allow you to load up the scene that you want regardless of what its name is or where it's positioned in the build hierarchy. So I've got the main menu scene done and I'm going to go ahead and create a new one here. And this one's going to be for creating your character. So I'm going to save this off and I'm just going to call it character gen narrator. And I saved it in the wrong spot but that's fine. I'll just drag it into my scenes folder. I'll open that up and I'm going to create one more now I've been calling this one level one all throughout the tutorial series, but I know that I'm going to want this to be the tutorial for my game. And later on, I'm going to have a different uh, scene for the actual game itself. So starting now, I'm going to start calling this one the tutorial scene. So I'm going to save it, select my scenes folder and call it tutorial. And I'll save it. So I'm going to go ahead and double click the main menu scene and make sure that you're on the main menu scene. It'll show it up here. I'm going to go ahead, open up scripts, and I'm going to drag the main menu script onto it. Make sure everything's there. I'm going to start off with clear, uh, clear prefs checked. And I want to go over to my build settings and I want to add all three of these scenes here. So I'm going to start off with add current. I'm going to go look at my scenes folder and I'm going to add my character generator next and then the tutorial. And since I am building for a web build, I'm going to set this now, and I know I'm streaming, so I want to click the stream option. And I'm going to quickly open up the player settings over here and fill any of these things out that I need while I'm here. Uh, I know that mine's going to be 930 by, I believe it was 523. I'll have to check on that later, but for now I'll put this in. I do not want a context menu. There's no icon or splash. Other settings, uh, if you have Pro, might as well go ahead and enable static batching. Now, the first stream level refers to what level you're going to start streaming assets from your resources folder. Now, we don't have a resources folder here yet, so I'm going to go ahead and make it. And we will be using that a little later on. We started adding stuff to the resources folder when we were doing our inventory, but we'll, have, we'll just add that in there now. I'll open player settings again and the first level that I'm going to be using it at is my scenes or my tutorial level which is number two so let's go over here and put a two in there and to make it easier to find in your registry or your preferences folder if you're on the Mac I'm gonna go ahead and name my my game now and the company and of course you can put whatever you want in there and this is 148 and of course if you already have an icon created go ahead throw it up there and if you're making a standalone build you'll have some options here you might want to fill out as well or an iPhone build I'm gonna go ahead and switch platform now which is going to re, re uh, import all of my assets so it might take a little while I'm just gonna pause the video while it re imports okay now that I have that done I'm gonna go ahead and open up our script for our uh, game settings. Now this is new for the people that have been following along and I'm going to come up here and create a few uh, static strings. So public static string and I'm going to want to reference uh, my main, well the main menu we'll want. We'll also want the character generator and our tutorial and 
there's going to be at least one more level after this for the actual real game. So we'll probably want all four, but I'm just going to make the three for now since that's all I have. And I actually am just going to put them in uh, an array. And I'm just going to call these level names. And right now I just have the three, so I'll save them like that. Actually, we might as well add them over here. And what I want to put in here is the actual name of the levels. So I'm going to quickly just pop over to Unity, open up my scenes, and just make sure I got the spelling right. So I'm just going to cut and paste everything. So first one's main menu. The next one is character generator. And I want them in this order in the array. And the third one I'm going to be adding is my tutorial level. All right, we'll save that off. We're going to head back into Unity, see if there's any errors that pop up. There's none. So now I'm going to open up my main menu script. And we've got it attached to the camera, so I'll just click on it. All right, now in here we're just telling it what levels to load and we we're typing them in up here. Uh, we don't need to actually do this anymore since we've got it saved in our game settings, which I guess I should save before I check to see if there's any errors. And there were none. Uh, what we're gonna do is grab the index out of here now so that we know, let me just do some quick comments here. So index zero, is equal to our main menu. Index one is equal to our character creation screen. And index three, or sorry, two, is equal to our tutorial level. Now I know I will probably will be adding one more to the beginning of this, uh, which will be a preloading screen, which is basically you know some sort of animated icon or something like that where your game is loading. But for now, let's just stick with this here. So we'll save this off, and I'm actually going to copy the name here. So I'm going to want to come in here. Sorry, be in the main menu, and instead of actually having the name Hardcast in here, I'm going to go ahead and just give it its reference. Now we could get all you know, nice and snazzy, make an enumeration in our game settings and have the enumeration be the actual level we want, but this should actually just work fine. You feel free to go ahead and do that if that's what you want. And I'll just save this off and I'm gonna check Unity again, make sure there's no errors. Uh, none popped up. So we get two errors and it's saying that the, the name level names does not exist and that's because I forgot to actually include the name of the class that holds them so that's game settings and we'll just get out of there and I'll just copy that down here and we'll come back into Unity let it re-import uh, mine's a little bit slow right now because of the stream and there we go no more errors now we could actually probably just get rid of these strings altogether and just go through and take a look where the where the levels are being loaded or at least being assigned like right down here uh, I'll leave that up to you to do it's called a sort of an exercise for the student uh, but let's move on to the next level let's go on to our character generation scene. So I'm just going to close everything up. I'll make sure I save that scene. I'm going to go into my character generator. All right, here we are in our character generation screen. And if you notice, all you have is just a main camera. So to start off with, there's really only two things we have to add here. We have to add something to attach our player character script to so that the scene can find it and have access to it. And we also need to add our game settings. 
So I'm going to open up the script. I'm going to first look at game settings. And if you look at the comments at the top here, uh, I've been pretty lax about putting the comments at the top because I've been changing things so much. Uh, but the final version will have all the comments that we need in it. But it tells you at the beginning that uh, this script will hold all of the settings for our game. Uh, create an empty game object called underscore underscore game settings and then attach the script to it. And then later on we will be creating this into a singleton, uh, but we haven't covered singletons yet, so I haven't bothered doing that yet. So let's just follow those directions. I'm going to head back into Unity. I'm going to create an empty game object. And it doesn't matter where it's positioned or not, it's, we never see it. But we do have to call it underscore underscore game settings. And then we're just going to take that script and drag it on. And let's click it. There's nothing exposed. So let's go on and actually work with our main camera. The main camera, we're going to go ahead and attach the character generation script to it. So we'll just go up to the character classes. You'll notice here I have a character generator script. I'm just going to take that, drag it on there. Now let's take a look at the script we just added to our main camera. So we have the character generator script here, and we notice we have three exposed variables in the in, in the inspector. Uh, the first one's for a custom skin that we're going to be using to basically style the way our game looks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create that now. So GUI skin. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it my skin. And then I'm going to select the main camera again, make sure, making sure that I can see the uh, exposed variable in the inspector. I'm just going to drag and drop that right on there. And next it wants to know about a player prefab. Uh, this has been changing a lot as we've been going through the tutorials, but at the state it's at right now, this tutorial, all we need is something in the scene that has a player script attached to it that we can basically access so we can create our character and then save the data that's made from that tech character. So you could actually come in and let's go ahead and look at some of the characters here. You could go ahead and take your 3D model or whatever you want and drag that into the scene. You know, get it all positioned the way you like right in front of the camera. Uh, set up its animations. Do whatever you want. Uh, just to keep things simple though, I'm just going to use an empty game object because it'll just be quicker instead of fidgeting around and trying to position everything. And you can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call it empty character. Now I'm going to open up my scripts and I'm going to find that character player character script and I'm just going to drag and drop it on and then select the main camera again or wherever you attached your character generator to and I'm just going to drag him on there to my player prefab. Now when we start this up you'll probably get an error because it's going to be looking for the mount point. So we'll see right here. Uh, let's go take a look at that error. Now this is where I'm mounting weapons to our character and it's going to be different for every model. So this is where it is on the model that I'm currently using in my game but it's going to be completely different than where it is on yours. 